In Italy, I spent 11 days in silence to better understand myself. Never before in my life have I felt like I was making such an impact in the world. What did happen was I found some awesome people who were all on the same journey. It didn't really matter what religion you were. You were a person, a unique individual, searching a pathway for a small light to lead you somewhere. The peace you receive and the growth you obtain is worth all the walking. For me, the real essence of the pilgrimage is the inner journey of each pilgrim and how that journey will be lived out going forward. Deep in my soul, I often find myself returning to the places Francis Sinclair walked, ministered, and lived. I had never felt so a part of something until that trip, and I cherish that. Helping in the direction of pilgrimage never grows old or repetitive because each pilgrim brings unique and different gifts, strengths, and weaknesses. The pilgrimage surprised me in terms of how well every pilgrim came together over the course of the week and truly created a family-like atmosphere. I came to wonder how great and peaceful the world would be if everyone was able to refrain from gossip and took the time to really get to understand someone else. The peace you receive and the growth you obtain is worth all the walking. I was raised Catholic, but largely lost touch with the church. The pilgrimage connected me back to what was strong and beautiful and loving in the church. I can't thank Stritch enough for this opportunity. The rediscovery changed my life. I was learning so much about St. Francis and the church. More importantly, I was learning about myself and how I am a part of it. This time I did not feel self-conscious in joining the others. I listened, truly listened, as those who had been selected did their readings and the world somehow fell away for those moments. This experience of the world falling away, it was profound for me. After more than 25 years of full-time teaching, I sat amongst the others and felt more serene than at any other time in my life. The pilgrimage taught me to find the value in even the most boring or useless situations. It was a moment in my life that I can testify that there is a God. As a Unitarian, I was initially concerned about the Catholicness of the experience, but knowing about St. Francis, I trusted that this would not be an issue. In addition, I was bringing my partner along, so I was a bit worried about how this might be received by others, despite St. Francis's open acceptance of all peoples. What struck me the most was the absolute, unconditional love and acceptance that was shown to all of us, regardless of our differences. I knew then that, no matter what I did, no matter how incomplete my work may feel in my life, I know that as long as I trust God and do something, I could be contributing to the next row in my field. We never know what great end may come from the work of our hands. For me, in going to Greccio, where Francis assembled the first live nativity, everything came together. I was overwhelmed looking at all of, of nativities from all over the world. The celebration of life in so many different expressions from so many different cultures brought me so much joy. It helped me connect to a childlike fate that I had long since been disconnected. I found a deep joy, deeper than anything I have ever felt before. I am humbled and honored to be a pilgrim among pilgrims to pray with them, learn from them, to share a good glass of vino rosso. I learn more about myself, my weaknesses, and my strengths through them. I am truly blessed because of the pilgrims. The most meaningful part of the Franciscan pilgrimage for me was the visit to the leper colony. In looking through the lens of the leper, I am able to see the pain in the perpetrator more clearly now. And, while I still hate the action, and will always act to protect the vulnerable, I strive to maintain the dignity of the person in the face of it all. I think that rehabilitation is more likely when there is love. I feel truly and deeply blessed to have had such an incredible experience. One open discussion in a small cafe in Assisi with someone whose views couldn't be more different than mine changed my life and made me a better person. I am so grateful that I was able to experience deep, excruciating pain, being able to soften by love and kindness. Now that I know this exists, it is something I can dedicate my life working for. 
It was a confession unlike any I had ever experienced. It was truly as if every wrongdoing I had ever done was wiped off of me. I physically felt lighter. Only after this experience was I able to learn to love myself. After that, I found that I had so much love to give that I didn't even know what to do with it.